Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about event object attributes. Whenever a handler function is called, it takes in a parameter, which is the event object. This event object has several properties or attributes. First one is target. Using target, we can obtain the element to which the event is applied. Using type attribute, we can get the type of event that is applied. Using key code, we can obtain the key which was pressed. We can obtain the ASCII code of the key which was pressed. Using screen X and screen Y, we can get the distance of the element from X and Y coordinates of the screen. Using timestamp, we can get the current date and value of the system. Using ALT key and CONTROL key, we can check whether the ALT key or CONTROL key were pressed. Let's see all these things in practical. Here in our page, we have included h1 tag which says event object. We have a paragraph ta tag which says click me. We have an input tag of type text. We have included jQuery using script tag which contains CDN from code.jQuery.com. In our script tag, we have written $p.click function. So we have appended .click event to this paragraph. Whenever I click this paragraph, this function should invoke. This function contains the event object. This event object has several properties and attributes which can be accessed. So we are accessing them using e.target. So this dot operator is used to access properties of object. Similarly, we are doing it here. So we are accessing target, type, timestamp, control key, screen X. So all these things we are accessing using e dot target, e dot type, e dot timestamp, e dot control key, e dot screen X respectively. And we are printing them into our console using console.log. Let's see the output. So here is a web page. When I click on this click me button, we can see the target is click me this button because this is where our event is applied. The type of event is click timestamp is 4277.975. And control key pressed false because we never pressed control key. Screen X is 42 because the distance from X axis is 42. So this is how we can access event attributes. Now this is the input box with type text. Whenever I press any key inside this input box, this function is invoked, which contains variable key pressed event dot key code. This key pressed variable stores the value of the key pressed. That is the ASCII value of key pressed. And we are using console.log to log it in our console. Let's see the output. So whenever I insert anything here, we can see key code gets printed here. 97, 115, 100, 102. So this is how it works.